Hey, there we are. Good morning, everybody. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is seven minutes in the morning, and I'm running late today. But I have a good reason. You know, th- this week, actually, we've been talking about... Um, <laughs> hey, there's Joe. Joe beat all of you again today. Um, this week we've been talking about running your day instead of letting your day run you. And last night we had the opportunity for our granddaughter to spend the night. That meant she got up this morning. We had to have pancakes and sausage and get her off to school. So I'm running a little bit behind, but here I am and, uh, ready to start the day, you know, and that uh, to me, as I, I think it was Wednesday. I, I talked about this the most when we think about time, the way we spend our time, the day running us versus us running the day, we're really talking about how we can spend an appropriate amount of time on those important relationships. And that's just an important one for me. Thank you for uh, uh, putting up with me (laughs) while I do that. So um, since we've been talking about running your day this week, and today is Free Coaching Friday, I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk just a little bit about what to do when the day gets off to a bad start or, you know, you're not on your schedule or, you know, whatever. Uh, it, it actually, a, a lot of times we make a much bigger deal out of this than we need to. So, there, I mean, there are a couple of strategies that you can apply that make it easy all the time. But in reality, it's your calendar. This kind of goes back to what I was uh, I talked about earlier this week, that when you let the calendar drive you instead of you using the calendar as the tool that, that it is, you're saying yes to a lot of requests that I'm just going to go ahead and say it. You could probably say no to. In fact, I dare say half of the things on your calendar you could probably say no to with no ill effects whatsoever. Sure, you might feel like you're missing out on some things, but no ill effects. All right. So when you have one, so one strategy that you can use proactively is to build in recovery time. On my calendar, every day on my calendar, I have lunch blocked out, even if I don't have lunch plans. That way, that's a built in time where you, the, the different people who have access to my calendar will not book anything for me there. And if I need to move it around because I'm actually meeting with somebody, I can. But the, the point is that's built in time. Even if the compl- the rest of the day is booked, stem to stern, I can go in there and I've got that time, that hour marked out from recovery time. I can get back where I've gotten off track. Now, the uh, the other tactic, the other thing that you can do is just reschedule. I mean, maybe, maybe this has happened to you. I mean, I, uh, recently, I don't remember this happening as much recently, but I'm, my wife works for a doctor, and I know that they have to do this from time to time. He, even the doctor will call you and say, hey, we need to reschedule. I mean, things happen, right? So reschedule. Now, the thing, and this goes for saying no also, when you have to say no, I really can't help you with that. Hey, I'm going to have to reschedule. You know, be open to the idea that you've you've said no to them once. If at all possible, accommodate them the next time. But But when you come with the no, when you come and say, hey, I need to reschedule, have the date and time in place in hand already, or at least say, Hey, let's look at our calendar. I'll tell you a simple little trick that makes all the difference in the world. Hey, we should get together sometime and have coffee or, Hey, I can't do it today. Maybe sometime next week. Instead of saying maybe sometime next week, say, Hey, let's look at our calendar and get it down right now. Never leave the scene of a decision without taking an action toward that decision. If you've decided that you're going to have coffee or lunch or a two hour meeting with somebody, put it on the calendar right now. I mean, that saves both of you another phone call. It, it allows you to block out that time and plan accordingly. So the point for today, um, we get off track. Sometimes the day doesn't start according to plan. You have to make adjustments. 
If you can build some, t- some uh, recovery time in, that's awesome. If you can't, you have to make some recovery time and either make it on somebody else's back or yours. I mean, that's it. And, and for me personally, I, you know, if it's my mistake, I tend to bear it myself. If it's something outside of my control, I just, you know, see how the priorities lie and schedule as appropriate. So I hope that, you know, this whole conversation about, um, managing how we use our time and, and making the day work for us. I, I think it's been a productive conversation this week. Uh, we'll have to see if it goes anywhere next week. But if you have questions uh, or comments about that, I'll go ahead and put the link up here again. I have a program that will help you get your head wrapped around identifying priorities. And, in fact, I think the second or third unit in this uh, six-unit program is making time for it figuring out how to make time to pursue the priority that you have uh, identified there. So if that's something that could benefit you, be sure and head over there and check that out. That's at TomRigsby.com slash fast five. That is the word fast and the number five, TomRigsby.com slash fast five. Thank you so much for being here. If you stayed this long, please do leave a comment, a thumbs up, share the video. If you see fit with your network, let everybody join in the conversation. All right, that's it for this week. You guys have a fantastic weekend, and I'll be back here again Monday, probably on time on Monday, with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Take care, and I will talk to you then.